Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gents? It is your boy here, Imo, and welcome back to a brand new Combat Masters video. Drop a like and subscribe before we jump into this one, because in this video, we're going to be discussing some of the future updates that the developers have shared with me. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. All right then, ladies and gents, so the developers themselves have asked me to warn you guys about a fake developer TikTok account for Combat Master. It's on screen for you now. These guys are faking to be the devs of the game, promising updates and features that are actually not coming to the game. So if you are following them, make sure that you unfollow them and report them. Right, okay, so we're going to jump into this one then. So one of the developers I was speaking with last night, I asked if there's any new exclusive information that hasn't been publicly released yet to share case to you guys in this video. And we got some new stuff to share with you. All right then, starting off with the first one. Returning people's bundles back into their account if they have filled out the Google form showing proof that they have purchases the bundle from the old game. So guys, if you remember this game got taken down and if there was bundles that you could buy and if you did buy them, you can actually now reclaim them using the Google form right now in the link in the description. It's how they can make sure that you actually had a bundle before and they can then give it back to you as well. So you're not losing any money because we have seen a lot of people complaining about the money they did spend, but now you can get it back. All right then, so the second one then is that they're actually working on a brand new game mode. He didn't specify what this game mode was, but we have been asking for like search and destroy and some domination game mode. So it's longer games and more action as well. So hopefully we may see one of these game modes being implemented into this game now. All right then, on to the third one here then. Fixing major bugs such as the high prices from the bundles. Not being able to buy a bundle due to Google or Apple not letting you. Buying a bundle and then it not showing up. Crashes when starting up the game. Bugs when using certain guns and many more. So they have listened to your feedback. They know and are aware of all of the bugs that you guys have been asking to get fixed. And they are looking to fix this now in the upcoming update. So that's great news. The developers are actively listening to all of, all of us as a community. So thumbs up for that. All right then, fourth point then. Upcoming new guns that are soon to be ready to be released for testing. Hint, hint, AR, aka Assault Rifle. So I did briefly mention this in my previous Combat Master video that there is limited weapons to choose from at the moment, but there are more being added to the game and there is one coming to the next update and it's an Assault Rifle. Now, I would like to see like an M13 or an M4, well, any assault rifle really i'm kind of excited to see what they're going to bring let me know what you think they're going to bring in the comment section down below is it going to be a good one or is it going to be a all right then the fifth one then guys they're actually working on developing new maps which are a lot bigger so this is great i've been saying this for multiple videos as well the maps are way too small like you know it's like playing nuketown 24 7 but these maps are actually smaller than nuketown on call of duty mobile so are we going to be seeing now the t traditional three lane type maps where we can actually have some game strategies and whatnot well we're gonna have to find out for that one so the sixth point then that he actually put across to me was they're adding new bundles once we once they get their prices better and fair for everyone around the world well a lot of you may be a bit uh, we don't want more bundles, but again, I think it's quite good. It's another way that these developers can earn some money to upgrade their game. But not only that, some people actually love to collect bundles and, and skins and camos and emblems and whatnot. So I think it's quite cool that they're adding new stuff to the game constantly. So this next one is very important. So they're looking to add more service so more regions can join the beta of Combat Master. That's a key word right there. This is a beta, guys. It's not even a global launch of the game yet. So they are looking to slowly release more uh, regions for more countries to play the game now. And that just means that we can play with more friends around the world and get more players actually playing the game, which fills up the lobbies a lot more. So you won't be facing so many bots. But by the way, if you are facing a lot of bots, it may be because you haven't updated your game, which puts you on offline mode. And offline mode, you're only playing bots. So make sure that you update your game. All right then, so here's another good one that they're adding in. So they're actually improving 
The settings such as sensitivity and making button bigger with many more adjustments. Again, this is fantastic. I believe that the buttons need to be able to, you know, go bigger, especially like the zoom in button. It's so small even when it's enlarged to the largest scale. And they're also adjusting the sensitivity because we all know that the sensitivity in this game is, is, uh, what, how can I pronounce this? Bad. <laughs> so, this is quite good that they're actually doing this for us. And again, they're actively listening to the community. All right then, so the next one then is that they're looking to add a battle pass into the game once they optimize their game for more devices first. Props to that as well to the developers for this one. All right then, so the final and last point that he said to me was rank mode with leaderboards that will come out once the preseason is out. So the preseason will be on the next update, which includes then the new bundles, the battle pass and whatnot. So we're still being we're still being the beta stage, but it'd be a preseason. Usually the global launch shouldn't be too long after that. And to be honest, I think they're pretty close to global launch. All they need to do is add some more weapons, kill streaks, and some more um, you know, game modes in total. So game modes, maps and weapons and kill streaks. Once they've added added all of those and fixed the optimization of the game. They're ready for global, and in my opinion, I think this game is going to be a very good competitor to Call of Duty Mobile at the moment. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this. There are some juicy things coming for the next update. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Let's try and hit 60,000 subs by the end of January. I think it's doable. And guys, thank you again for 10,000 followers on Twitter. If you haven't already, go follow my Twitter, guys. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Ah, uh, I need Apex Legends Mobile.